These girls love what they do. They all have day jobs, but their passion is cheering on our home team, no matter what it takes. Black camera action, lose control, and got to practice, use a pro. They practice twice a week, plus game days, and get this, one drives from Cleveland, another drives from outside of Chicago, one flies in from Florida, and two moved here from Japan. I'm a digital marketer, so that's the hat I wear during the day, and then it hits five o'clock, and I immediately shift over to bang out. Delaney dreamed about wearing stripes as a little girl. Now she's in her fifth year as a Bengal. The second I walk out on the field, I'm like, yes, this is why I do it, because I still get chills during my fifth season. Delaney is a co-captain with Samantha, who danced for Highlands High School and NKU, and now is in her sixth season with the team. I'm an elementary school teacher, so all day long I get to pour into kids, and, and that's truly my passion, but at night, this is my exaggerated hobby. But they all admit, last year, took the roar out of them. Yeah, so we were masked and we were definitely distanced. We were up on like a plaza level deck. The most challenging part was the lack of fans. You know, we feed off their energy. We love seeing their smiling faces in the stands. And when that dwindled down a lot, it was like, dang, you know, we really miss that energy. Charlotte Simons has been the director for the Bengals for 27 years. Because of COVID, they couldn't have tryouts last season. Instead, they took 16 veterans from past years. They learned most dance routines via Zoom. And even though they were allowed at the games, they weren't allowed on the field. A different existent, meaning, you know, waiting to see what the governor ruled on, waiting to see what the NFL ruled on. Any primetime game is exciting, but after a year of COVID and limited fans in the stands, tonight, Paul Brown feels like a jungle again. I know that this place is going to be jumping, so we can't wait. <laughs> and you know what, Samantha, we can't wait either. So here's another interesting thing. First of all, you're going to see more cheerleaders, more Bengals on the field this year than ever before. They have 30 instead of 24. And you may also notice that the team is more diverse, and that is is on purpose. So normally in the past, uh, the Bengals, you had to live within a 50 mile radius of greater Cincinnati. They've now done away with that. And get this, you heard me mention some of the girls who travel from other cities. Well, they literally, we have a girl coming to a girl from Cleveland, one from Chicago, one who flies from Florida, one who moved in from Columbus and two who moved here from Japan. And keep in mind, these girls who are traveling, we're talking two days a week, they have practices then on game days they have to come in and there's a lot of pressure on them but this was really important to the Bengal staff the Bengal team that they wanted to make sure the people the cheerleaders you see rooting on our team are just as diverse as the players on the field.